This video speaks more to new UX designers and beginners, but of course could be helpful for senior designers who would like to get a fresh perspective on things. So let's dive in. Hey there, my name is Abdallah Imam and I'm a creative entrepreneur who has been in the UX design and product design industry for over 12 years. And I had the pleasure to design for companies such as Google and Apple. In this video, I'm sharing a few techniques to add to your UX deliverables that elevate your proposal and it may help you to get to that senior designer level you are looking for. It's important to think of your UX design deliverable as a design proposal. It is a mindset and more of a practical practice, but it's really good to have a proposal for the design solutions you make. So you have one place that include all the process you have done, the mockups and everything that the team will need to go back to while building. Of course, the mockups are the most important part of this proposal, but it's not only the mockups. You can get to the mockups without going through the process. So it's important to highlight what is exactly the problem you're trying to solve, what the research you have done and the summary of the findings, and also some sort of like breakdown of every step you have taken along the way. We'll come back to this later as I do have a really good UX design proposal template that you can download for free at the end of this video. You should summarize your design problem and your UX research. I was guilty of that myself and a lot of other designer out there. They don't or they miss summarizing or making clear what is the design problem that they are trying to solve is and share with their team. Even if it's a small problem and you don't have a large UX research team to support you, um, it is a good practice to share with your team and summarize your research and also make clear what is the design problem that you're trying to solve and presenting to your team and your users in this deliverable. Make sure to include some mock-up annotations and also interaction breakdown to your deliverable. It is hard to cover every single detail in your design presentation or review, so it's important to include some interaction design breakdown or information architecture or task flow of your designs in your deliverable. So this way, your team will thank you, the developers and product managers, that they have a place to go back to and check what you meant with these interaction and what you meant with your solution solution and how they actually um, should work while building. Converting your mock-up to a click-through prototype. Most designers miss that step or don't really have time to do it. Even if it's just one click on each view, I can't stress enough how important it is to add and go the extra mile and make your mockups um, click through prototype. It is easy now, it's a feature that is in most design tools um, in Figma, Sketch, and XD. You can easily click through your mockups and it will help you a lot to give a real idea of how the flow will go. And you can also use it in a casual user testing with some users if you have access to. It will really be good exercise for you and also can really elevate your designs and your design proposal if you show a demo and a click through instead of just static mockups. And lastly, make sure to get a sense of what is the next steps of your design solution. After you give the proposal and the design review, um, what the team will do with your designs, what you need to do. Um, do we need to do more user research? Do we need to build a functional prototype and, and work with the developer on that? It will be really helpful for you and your team to be on the same page and also basically end your design proposal and review with a tangible steps on how to move forward with your design. So back to my UX design proposal template that you can download for free. Here's a quick look on what you will find in this template. A summary of your UX research example. Problem definition summarized as how might we question. Persona or user archetype 
with their unique motivations, design mockups, of course, with an example of annotation, and information architecture and interaction breakdown example. And lastly, next steps example. Of course, there are other ways and techniques to add and include in your UX proposal and final deliverable. These are, in my opinion, the minimum to include for a strong UX and product design proposal. I have used it myself and pushed the team that I've managed to use it in every single design problem. I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next video.